I'm eating all the meat, if you can tell. <laughs> mm. Mm. It's really good. I love it. Yeah. Hello, my name is Lucia from Argentina. Nice to meet you all. I have been in Korea for a year and a half. Yeah, I love Korean food. <laughs> I think I've tried almost everything. <laughs> I love like, for example, tteokbokki, kimchi jjigae. Like I love kimchi, so everything, anything with kimchi for me is perfect. Gopchang and like samgyeopchal and everything Korean BBQ is delicious. Tteokbokki, like everyone knows about tteokbokki. Like in Western countries, like tteokbokki is one of the most famous Korean dishes. So when I first came here, that was like the first thing I wanted to try. And at first, like I was not used to spicy food because in Argentina, we don't really eat spicy. So at first it was good, but it was too spicy for me. But within a few times, I started to love it. And now I love it. Yeah, yesterday I ate <laughs> Chicken, yeah, so before coming to Korea, chicken was not something, that, it was not a food that I think about when someone talks about Korean food, you know? But after coming here, it's like chicken is everywhere. And after actually trying it, especially um, fried chicken, I, I completely fell in love with it. Like it's the best chicken I've ever tried in my life. Like in Argentina, we are not used to eat fried chicken. Like usually we eat like oven, chicken or boiled, boiled chicken but never actually fried so it was like a whole new experience for me so yeah it was perfect I love it I love it my favorite chicken I'm not a fan of yang yang chicken but I do love like the garlic one and, and the honey one that's my favorite yeah and plain ah, I love everything <laughs> first time I ate fried chicken was in Hunde with a friend I don't remember the name of the place but it's like a yellow Ah, uh, yeah, no, no, dang, what? Dong dang? Dong dang? <laughs> that one. <laughs> and I, I, I fell in love. It was perfect. Yeah, that was with my first experience eating fried chicken. And after that, I couldn't stop. And I don't like eating chicken with bone. So I always ask for the boneless chicken. And I feel like that one is perfect. I don't know, I just like it. <laughs> I love uh, chicken with beer. It's like just, it's just perfect. It completes the dish. <laughs> yeah. Kupchang. A lot of Koreans were surprised that I actually like kupchang, but actually in Argentina we have similar thing and we eat that a lot. So for me it was not that much different from what I'm used to. So of course I love it. But what is different is here is kupchang you eat it like with different sauces and stuff. We don't have that. So eating it with that was uh, like a new thing for me and I completely love it. I cannot eat kupchang without the sauces. <laughs> right now I cannot go back. Yeah, it's perfect. I didn't know Koreans ate that too, but when I came here and I met my, now my husband, that's his favorite food. So we went to eat gopchang and at first he said gopchang, I didn't know what it was. But then when he said, oh, you might not like it. And I was like, mm, let's just try. I love food, so whatever. And when they bring it, I was like, no, I love this. This is perfect for me. They will love it. Argentina people love anything with meat on it. So yeah, they will love it for sure. Ton. I love ton. It's like, I think it's my number two after kimchi jjigae. It's not a heavy thing and like it's perfect with makgeolli. I love makgeolli. Makgeolli is my favorite Korean drink. It's like the perfect combination. It's just beautiful. <laughs> and we don't have something like that in Argentina. So it was like, yeah. My favorite kind of ton would be kimchi ton. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think so, no, nothing similar, yeah. But I think Argentina people would really like it. I didn't see that in other country. Yeah, I'm sure there are something similar in other countries, but I never tried it before. My favorite food is, of course, kimchi jjigae. I cannot live without kimchi jjigae. If I someday go back to Argentina, I don't know what, what I will do because I need my kimchi jjigae, especially when it's cold. I, I like to eat hot. I know Koreans like to eat hot food when it's hot, <laughs> but I like to eat hot food when it's cold. It's the opposite, right? So in winter, in, eating kimchi jjigae for me is like, yeah, I love kimchi jjigae. It's just the, the perfect combination of everything. Koki <laughs> kimchi jjigae, for sure, for sure. I love koki kimchi jjigae. I'm not a fan of tuna, 
So yeah, I mean it's good still, but yeah, I prefer the meat one. During winter, at least once a week, at least, yeah. But I'm not an expert in making kimchi jjigae. I just like kind of mix everything in the stove and just cook it. It's not bad, but it's definitely not as good as a kimchi jjigae made by a Korean person. Yeah, I need to learn. <laughs> Wow! Oof, it smells delicious. <laughs> it's kimchi <jjigae. laughs> I was expecting food, but I was not expecting kimchi jjigae. <laughs> but it's perfect. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, oh, embarrassing. I'm not good at chopsticks. Usually, I will just try the soup first. <laughs> Ooh, it's good. Who made it? <laughs> and then I will just put it over the rice and just take everything, like a big mouthful. <laughs> mm. Mm. One thing I like to do is to take the rice and put it inside, but my husband hates it, so I don't do it anymore. <laughs> I don't know, he says it's not polite if you're eating with other people. I really like it, it's not really spicy at all. I think a little bit more spicy would be like side dishes is one of my favorite things in Korean food. It's like you just order this, but then it comes with so many other things. It's just like perfect. Some days I even can just eat bangjan and it's fine for me. Like I don't need the main dish. Mm. So yeah, I, I like to do this, but my husband hates it. Mm. Mm. It's really good. I love it. Yeah. We don't usually eat fermented stuff, so I don't know if many people will actually like kimchi. And like I said, we don't really eat spicy, but I think it's it's something that you have to get used to at first and then you will love it. But for me, it's like the first time I tried it, I loved it. I don't know why, it's just like, it was love at first bite, <laughs> for sure. Mm. We have something called giso. It's one of my favorite foods. My mom usually makes it during winter. The taste is completely different, but uh, like the process of making it is quite similar. I don't think we eat it with rice. Yeah, no, we don't eat it with rice. We don't eat much rice, I think. Just for certain things. In Korea, you eat rice with almost everything, right? But in Arjuna, we really don't eat much rice. But I love rice. For us, our rice would be bread. You know, we eat a lot of bread with everything. Like if this was an Argentinian dish, I will have my bread here and I will do this in the sauce and, the, the, and then eat it. Yeah. My first time trying kimchi jjigae was the second time I came to Korea. The first time I didn't try it because I came with my mom and my sister the first time and my sister doesn't really like this kind of foods. So we just ate like the safe stuff. <laughs> But then the second time, I was with a friend and she said, oh, I love kimchi jjigae, let's eat kimchi jjigae. And I was like, okay, I never tried it, but let's do it. And she took me to this uh, small restaurant and we, I tried it there for the first time and it was amazing. Amazing, yeah. I love it like since the first time I ate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For sure, samgyeopsal. We love meat. Uh, we eat a lot of meat. Here in Korea, it's more common to eat pork meat, but for us, we eat a lot of cow meat. For us, cow meat is cheap. Anything that involves meat, it will be perfect. But I think if it's like Korean barbecue with cow meat, isogogi, yeah, that will be perfect. And what else? Korea has too many different kinds of food, you know? So I think they're really living aside like the spicy food that maybe not many people can eat. All of the other things I think Argentina people could enjoy for sure. I'm eating all the meat, if you can tell. <laughs> so today I talk about top five Korean foods that I like. And I ate kimchi jjigae, my favorite one. So if you really enjoyed this video, please comment, leave a like and subscribe, of course. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye bye.